look at God. Uh, you look like the inside of Amy Winehouse's nostrils. Shut up, boy. Come on in here. You came right on time, too. <laughs> Dinner's almost ready. Take off your shoes. Well, I'm glad you finally kept your word. Yeah, well, I thought about what you said the other day, and I had a slight change of heart. That's mom's favorite picture. She said he always looked like Denzel in that picture. <laughs> yeah. Is the kitchen kicking your ass or what? Boy, shut up, you little hater. You know I can cook. I can cook better than you, actually. <laughs> Girl, I love you, but you know it's a whole damn lie. I always said you looked at the hottie from Flavor of Love for your Oh, you tried it, and you know you did. I'm just oh. saying. What you cooking anyway? Grits and eggs. Eggs and grits? Monica, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 8 a.m. in the morning somewhere in the world. Yeah, I guess. Who you? Here. Can you take this to Mom upstairs, please? You know where she lives, right, right up there. Go ahead, take it up to her. Checkmate. Uh, but you thought you had me that time, huh? Whatever. It's, it's been ages since I paid chess, so I'm a little rusty. But you got it. Yeah. Alright, well, you know, it's been years since I played chess too, so that's no excuse. No, so just accept it. You're not seeing me on this here board. Look, I, I don't mind losing fair and square. It's all good. I'm just happy to be here with you again. Hmm. And here I was thinking you had lost interest. Yeah. Why would you think that? Well, um, after the last time we had talked, the other day, you just kind of went ghost. Uh, yeah, about that. Um, kind of heard something about you that made me question whatever this is we got going on. Wait, I'm sorry. You heard something about me? Something like what? I don't even know if it's my place to say. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, Daryl, I like you. I like you a lot. But what I don't like is secrets. So if you heard something about me, you should share that. Well, uh, word on the street is you're knocking boots with Trevor. Um, okay, first of all, I've never knocked a single boot with anybody named Trevor. I don't even know anybody named Trevor, except like Trevor Noah, the comedian. Are you sure your source had the right nick? Um, I'm talking about Prince's dude. What? <sighs> oh my god. First of all, it's Troy. Second of all, Prince and I already squashed that. So, it's true? No, of course not. That was some stupid mix-up. Um, we resolved it. Let's move on. So you're not a home-breaking man still a hoe? 
No, of course not. I'm way too one-dimensional to ever have any of those nasty qualities. <sighs> I've never lied to you, and I've never put on the front. I'm not that guy, and I never will be. Well, that's, that's definitely a relief. I was starting to lose hope. You bloody fucking phone is fucking ringing bastard! Listen like- Ew, what does he want? <laughs> uh, ate it a little too early for a booty call, sir? No, that was my stupid ass ex. I don't know why he's calling. Like, we don't even talk, so... Your, your ex? Your, your ex? His name was Lorenzo? <sighs> yeah, that frivolous ass bitch. Uh, his last name wouldn't happen to be, by any chance, Phillips. Yeah. Do you know him? Do I know him? That's the piece of shit I was telling you about the other day. I'm, I'm not following, I'm sorry. Oh my God, do you remember when I was talking about my ex-boyfriend and how I moved here to be with him? And he just broke up with me out of nowhere. Yeah, I remember. Oh my God. You and Lorenzo used to talk? Talk? <laughs> me and him were married. like I'm doing. Looks like you're about to squirt dick juice all over my brand new wrinkle resistant sheets. Yeah. Thanks for interrupting. So this is what you do all day by yourself? Beat off? Yeah. I'm a nigga. That's what we do. At least I'm not out there cheating on you. It's funny that you would bring that up. You know what, Troy? As conventional as I am, I have a diligent way of classifying cheating. I'm sorry, what? I don't necessarily consider sex cheating. Now, if someone has your time, that, that is a major issue. I uh, don't know what you're getting at. I'm so confused. Confused? It seems like you've been confused the whole time. All right. I just wanted to bust a nut, take a shower, watch American Horror Story. I'm not interested in your Rubik's Cube of confusion. Relax. I'm not gonna bop you. I just wanna talk. Man to man. Okay, what's up? So, you're probably not gonna like this. Just a disclaimer, this won't end well. I went through your phone yesterday, and I saw things that would not make me happy to call you my man. Oh, I didn't know we were at that point in our relationship. Yes, we are. What part is that? The part where we go through each other's phones. I can't believe you invaded my privacy like that. Uh, it was one time and it was a mistake. Yeah, I'm sure it was a mistake. You are the epitome of a joke. Here I am thinking that we could build an empire together. And all the while, you're phone boning your little heart out. I go out of my way to make time for you, Troy. Do you know what it's like dating you? Do you know what it's like dating you? It's torture. So you don't know what kind of pressure you put on me. And he's walking around like we have this cookie cutter relationship. But in reality, I'm losing interest by the second. Whoa. So what you're saying is I don't interest you anymore when I'm going out of my way to put in efforts so that we can improve. And you're sitting for thinking that you're getting the short end of the stick? That is ridiculous. This is not what I asked for. This is not how I saw this going. You're the one causing problems. I've done everything, everything right. I want an apology. An apology for what? Talking on the chat line? You ain't going somewhere with that, bruh. I'm a grown ass man, Prince. Do you think you'll be controlling me? You have another thing coming. That's how you feel? <laughs> Fuck that chat line. Fuck that apology. Fuck you. I'm done. <laughs> Oh. 
Corey. Is that you? Oh, my boy. My son. How I missed you so much. I'm so sorry I got this going on with you. Well, everybody's got to go through something. You aging is looking just like your father. Oh, yeah. Brought you something to eat? Oh, baby, did you make me something? Oh, you know how you make those good dishes, uh, just like your father. <laughs> Actually, Monica, Monica made that, not me. Well, I should have known. It's on a paper plate. Mm -hmm. It has no smell and... I bet you ain't got a lick of seasoning on this. <laughs> <laughs> Mom. Are you okay? Bah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, don't you worry about nothing. I'm not dying. Oh, yet. okay. <laughs> <coughs> well, you should probably, uh... Eat up so you can uh, secure your health. I know. You got this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, 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 uh, Corey, are you going to make me a grandmother? You know, Monica said that she wasn't going to have no kids till she's 35, so you know you're my only hope. Well, unless you Mama, still... Mama, I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm something I'm not. Ain't nothing changed, okay? I'm still gay. Well, you, you come over here. Look, Mom, before you start thumping your little Bible at me, let it be known that there is nothing that you and nothing that God can do to make me straight. It is what it is, okay? Ain't nothing changing. Come closer, baby. Look at me. I love you. What? I said, I love you. There hasn't been a day that has gone by that I don't regret disowning you. I've been thinking about you a lot. And I just want to say that I'm sorry for ruining you the way that I did. And there is no child that should have to go through what I put you through. And I hope that you take my apology and you forgive me. You know how long I've been waiting to hear you say those words to me? I'm almost 30 now. And I still don't know how to love. There was a point where I just wanted to end it all. Everything happened for a reason. I was forced to love myself. I was forced to be confident. And as you can see, this is me in all my glory. This is the time that you should be planning together with your siblings. My siblings? What are you talking about, Mom? It's just me, Monica. What are you talking about? Mom. 
Mom. Mom. Bob, wake up. Oh. No, please don't do this to me, Clay. Bob, wake up. I love you too. Um, Daryl, I'm really not sure this is a great idea. I mean, really, what's the point of this visit? He's not with either of us. I mean, why don't we just turn around, let it go? Yeah, let's turn around and be oblivious to know the reason he did us the way that he did. I don't know about you, but I want answers. You know, yeah, I'm all for getting a tea, but I think you should just do this on your time. You know, this is just really awkward, and I, I don't want any parts of it. <sighs> okay, babe, fine. Um, you stay here and hold out for it. It'll only take a hot second. Uh, no. <sighs> What, what's all that? <laughs> Good old man made old fashioned divorce papers. I've been looking for this man with an eagle eye for years. Wow, ain't that some shit. And y'all were married, you said, for two years? Yeah. Two long, exhausting years that I will never get back. When he signed these papers, I will finally be free from him. Okay, Daryl, um, I'm just gonna ask you a question and I hope you'll be honest with me. Um, did, did he ever hit you? <laughs> he tried on multiple occasions. Hey, but I got a black belt in Taekwondo and he regretted those attempts. Wait, let me guess, he, he continued his pattern on you? <laughs> Come on, let's go. This is where he lives? Yeah, this is the condo his dad left him when he died. And they got that nigga's car right there. Hey, Mr. Thomas died? Hmm. Hell. Wow. That was a great day. <laughs> Wait, why are you so jittery? Alright, what's going on? Are you okay? <sighs> this is weird. Um, I really haven't had a chance to comprehend all of this, and it's just a little overwhelming. Yeah, I know, but. What is that to comprehend? We're here to get answers. Don't you think we deserve that? Yeah. What the fuck is this? <laughs> the welcome to committee. What do you think, Marisa? Like, I've been looking for you for years. Do you really think you could do me the way that you did and then just leave me high and dry? Look, bro, right now ain't a good time. And how the fuck you find out where I study? <sighs> I tell them. Nick. Mm. You really are a piece of shit, Lorenzo. You know that, right? Funny thing is, I'm sure you're up to your same old tricks. With a new trick, I'm sure. Pretty sure that he is. Hmm. 
How the fuck y'all know each other? So, you wanna let us come in? We can talk about this like adults? Like I said, right now isn't a good time. Oh! Boy, move. Y'all know y'all can't just bust my shit like that. It's a nice place you got here. Yeah. Has all the amenities. Got a washer and dryer, electric stove. <laughs> Those shit still spread from your lips? Mm. Hell no. Bro, what the fuck is this about? <laughs> well, Mr. Runaway, um, turns out there's a shameless glitch in the system. So you were married? How could you not mention that? I ain't gotta tell you shit if I don't wanna tell you. I'm sorry, man. What the fuck? Oh, that was exhilarating. Oh, babe, I feel better already. Mm hmm. Right. Ooh, that did feel good. Better than that whack ass sex. I love you. I love you too. Not this shit again. Again? Nick? 